Yeah, certainly with the chill in the air, um, it's time to start thinking about all those things, right? Kind all those is. things, holidays. Halloween's over. Thanksgiving is what? Three weeks from tomorrow. Is it? Wow, you're counting. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, well, yeah, the weather has caught up, definitely, Ray. We are in sync now with, I guess, where we should be. It is, and I want to point out that that tree is going to be uh, pretty neat. I was sort of being nebby and watching them set it up, so I was, I was seeing the lights they were doing. I, I think you're going to like what you see out there. Now, now, when it comes to what's happening up north, I don't know if you're going to like seeing this. A couple flurries still floating around in Venango County, so those just stray little flakes left over from our earlier lake effect up that way. We've just had the clouds on and off here in Pittsburgh, and that'll be the case tonight and tomorrow, but I think the sunshine is going to ultimately win this challenge once we get later into this weekend, closer to the weekend. So we will see a brighter setup taking over. Now, right now, if you stepped outside, it'd feel like the upper 30s. This is the current wind chill. So 39 is what it feels like from Pittsburgh to Latrobe, 38 in Indiana. It feels like freezing in Dubois, and uh, upper 30s and low 40s for most spots. So it's chilly. And tonight's actual temperatures are going back down into the upper 20s. That is where we found our temperature early this morning, 29 degrees. The coldest in the first time we hit um, freezing since May 1st. So it's been a while coming, but a, another very cold morning tomorrow. Temperatures mid to upper 20s in most cases, and tomorrow afternoon's highs are staying in the 40s. We're looking at mid to upper 40s for high temperatures, so another cooler than average day. Typically, we'd find our numbers in the mid 50s. Now, this weekend, we do get our temperatures in the low to mid 50s. However, it is going to be bright. I think it's going to be a beautiful looking weekend. Temperatures pretty much where you'd expect to find them this year, so a little November perfection coming our way for both Saturday and Sunday. Now, the next couple of days, we're going to have a little more cloud cover to deal with and still some chilly temperatures, so we'll be building up to that weekend. You can see here, early tomorrow morning, after our clouds dissipate a little bit, they come back again tomorrow, so mostly cloudy skies early on, partly cloudy skies later in the day, and then into Friday, I think we're into the sunshine, and we'll keep it that way going right on through the weekend, so a brighter setup once we hit Friday. Tonight, though, 29 degrees. It will be another cold night. We'll have the clouds decreasing for a little bit, and then in the morning, we're going to have those come back. So uh, more clouds return tomorrow, 48 degrees. Our skies are going to turn partly cloudy again, so those on and off clouds working back. Uh, Temperature-wise, upper 20s early in the morning, so a cold morning at the bus stop. Once you get to lunchtime, 43 degrees, the evening commute to come in with temperatures mid to upper 40. So 48 is the high the next couple of days after starting off those days in the upper 20s. We do crack back into the 50s for Saturday and stay there Sunday and Monday. Temperatures next week, look, some 60s come back. So some warmer than average temperatures are showing up in the forecast as well. It's just the next few days, that's where we feel the chill.